different tools that you can use to save for college. One would be the 529 plan. There's tax benefits to this, but there's also limits to the tax benefits. And then, when you need to use the funds, there's a limit to the amount that you can, or the limit to what you can use those funds on. So that's the 529 plan. The Coverdale, again, is very similar to the 529. It limits the amount that you can put in it, um, and then it stipulates what you can use those monies on. But those both give you tax benefits. The third way is a joint account. I kind of like this idea because it really gives the parents the flexibility, right? I always, there's a quote out there that says, you can always save for, you can take a loan out for education, but you can't take a loan out for retirement. And so this gives you the flexibility that if you started saving for retirement and then something happened in your life and you actually need that money for something else, whether it's retirement or for your house or whatever it may be, it gives you that flexibility uh, and allows you for your, your, your child to take out a loan if necessary because they have a longer time period to pay it back. So those are three ways, 529, a Coverdale, and a joint account. Uh, no tax benefits in a joint account, but there's no stipulation on how much you can save and there's no stipulation on what you can take out. So go check it out, three different ways, college savings.